This guy writes, VW, Nissan, seriously, why don't you tell us something about Porsche, BMW, Jaguar, Range Rover? Tell me something! Oh, by the way, my name is Rick Dyer, and I'm the king of cars. Now, let's start off with Land Rover, Range Rover. Awesome freaking vehicles. In fact, I put my girl and all my kids in one every single day. Safety, reliability, turbo diesel, you cannot beat. This is a 2020. We bought it brand new and put over 90,000 miles on it already. Super duper reliable. Oh, but you're saying, well, that's new. That's different. Oh, no, it's not. Here is a 2002 Land Rover Discovery. I stock these, or I buy these, every time I can because they are reliable. You know, they have some quirks here and there, but those quirks doesn't affect the motor and the transmission. So, yes, 100%, I stand behind Land Rover, Range Rover. Mm -hmm. And since we're on the same subject as Range Rover Land Rover, we got to talk about Jaguar because they're owned by the same company. Same everything. Same motors, same transmissions. <sighs> yeah. Do they have their quirks? Yes, they have their electrical quirks, but it doesn't affect the drivability. Motor, transmission, very solid. Do I recommend a Jaguar? Absolutely. I'm sorry, folks. I don't tell you what you want to hear. I don't tell you, oh, Toyota's great. Always buy Toyota, blah, 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 blah. I think Toyota is overpriced. That is my opinion. I think Toyota's overpriced, and I think there's vehicles out here just as good as Toyota. I own car lots, okay? And I need these vehicles to run. And I can buy three Land Rovers or one Toyota. Hmm. I'm going to buy the Land Rover. I can buy two Volvos or one Toyota. I'm going to buy the Volvo. Now let's talk about BMW. Yes, they have some quirks, but the motor and transmission, again, is wonderful. You know, they may have a bad air shock here and there. The radio may not work here and there. But if you can afford a BMW, then you should be able to afford the little quirks because those little quirks in a BMW, if not repaired, turns into more and more and more. And Ford, well, you know, I'm not a big fan of Ford. Ford has, you know, some problems, especially in the transmissions in the newer vehicles. But stuff like this, this old Focus right here, ooh, man, so reliable. A very hot set. Now we're going to talk about Porsche. It's in the garage because it's sold, and I want to protect it for the new owner. This is a Porsche Cayman. Tell me you can't afford it without telling me you cannot afford it. Because if you could, then you would know that Porsche is the most reliable car company ever. The rear engine Porsches. Cayman, Boxster, 911. When's the last time you seen a Porsche 911, a Cayman, or a Boxster on side of the road with a blown engine? Never. Super rock solid cars. And you know what? I don't have a lift here for nothing. I'm also a mechanic. So, yes, Nissan is probably the absolute worst vehicle that you can buy. Let me stop you right here. Nissan is the absolute worst vehicle you can buy. And make absolutely no mistake about that. Folks, don't forget about my seminar in Daytona Beach, September 6th and 7th. Daytona Beach, Hilton. You have got to come down and see what's going on. I will tell you how to open up a car lot. Make money. This is an ATM, folks. A legal ATM.